Hi, how the fuck are we doing? Are we good? Good? Okay, good. My new favorite podcast, The Girls' Bathroom. Such a cute little podcast. If I ever started a podcast, I would want it to be like that. Like have like people write in and then I give them my two cents on a situation. But anyway, it is currently, it's 6.17 right now. I woke up at 5. I've been trying to wake up at 5 for the last few days. I did it today. I did it today. I didn't want to. Also, I was really bloated this morning, so I had peppermint tea, and it healed me. I kind of want to start, like, I feel like if I put myself together before the gym in the morning, I'll feel more good. So I did a little, like, skin tint and some concealer, a little, a little lip liner. I was going to get ready with you guys, but I was listening to the girls' bathroom, and I didn't want to stop, so... No fucking way. You know how I was telling you guys I woke up loaded? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to go pee. Tell me why I'm on my period. What the fuck? I literally got off my period last week. Like why, why is it back? Okay, I'm debating on whether or not I want to dry scoop my pre-workout or drink it throughout my workout. <sighs> I guess I could take it like a shot. Here's my thing, I got a slut cup. You guys know I got my little slut cup. I don't like bringing this into the gym because it's like I can't just like throw it everywhere like it has to be you know I'm gonna I'm gonna you see what I did you see how the back of my shirt is green and my shorts are green too I'm a sweater you know how some girls just don't sweat I sweat and nothing is worse than getting in your car like getting into the cold or getting in the AC with like sweaty clothes Update, not moving. I thought I was going to move into a different, like, apartment. I think I was saying this in the last vlog. I think I was explaining. I thought I was going to move into, like, a one-bedroom. My mom and I talked. This is your sign. Talk to your mom. Talk to your mom. She probably knows a lot. Unless you don't want to talk to your mom, then don't talk to your mom. I always feel bad when people are like, oh, like, talk to your mom about it. And they're like, oh, well, I have a terrible relationship with my mom. And I'm like, ooh, then don't talk to your mom about it. But... I'm very lucky. I have a very good relationship with my mom. So I like talking to her about stuff. But sometimes I think that I'm superwoman and I'm like, nah, like I'm an adult. I didn't bring my vlog camera in here just because I knew I wasn't gonna vlog, but I'm I'm just now feeling the itchies from my pre-workout. I didn't drink it fast enough. That's why I like to dry scoop Welcome. it. Touch to activate. That's why I like to dry scoop it because then I like get it done with. I don't drink it fast enough when it's like in the thing. Oh well, you live, you learn. Anyway, I'm gonna tan. Sue me, sue me. I'm gonna lay in a tanning bed because I just feel better about myself when I have a little tan. Um, and I haven't been in the sun in a long time. But workout was scrumptious. Ooh, Target haul. More like grocery haul because that's salt pepper because I needed it. This threw me through a fucking tizzy at the store because I saw it like backwards and I thought it said 32 grams of protein. I was like, no way, because they just came out with one that was like 20 grams of protein. I feel like they started at like, you know, 12 grams of protein, 17 grams, 20 grams. And then I was like, 32, like what are they doing? What are they doing? But no, this is the 23 grams and it's so good. And if you guys are Stevia girlies, this is Stevia. Um, it's sweetened with stevia, so I like to put honey in it because it's not that sweet on its own. But when I make my peanut butter banana protein smoothies, peanut butter banana, chocolate peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter banana protein smoothies, um, I don't have my regular protein powder right now. I've been using the collagen protein, so I'll use this, and it like sweetens it the same way. I got some brownie mix because I have been needing sweet treats. I I didn't buy sweet treats. I bought. A thing of chicken because I've been obsessed with making quesadillas lately and let me show you guys these are the tortillas that I like to buy they're the extreme wellness high fiber carb lean and apparently they're keto certified whatever the fuck that means I got peanut butter because I need peanut butter I got the yummiest creamer ever this is the silk brand I'm actually so happy that I started my period because I was starting to get bloated and I was like, fuck, like maybe, you know, maybe it's, I've been having a little bit of a sweet tea addiction. It's over because I'm not going to buy sweet tea anymore, but over the holidays, uh, Mr. Special Someone and I, like we were constantly going places with his family and it was always like, oh, like what can I get you to drink? And like they would get sweet tea and I was like, 
I want sweet tea. I'm normally just a water gal, like water, coffee, or wine at a restaurant. Oh, that was way too much onion. I just want to clone myself sometimes. I just want to have me as a little clone so I can take myself around and I can take pictures and I can capture the vision that's in my brain and I can talk to myself and I wonder how that would be because I am a very stubborn person and I'm not a very patient person. I'm very open-minded, but I'm very stubborn. So if like, if I say like, oh, this is how I want it and you say, well, I think it'd be better that way. And I say, okay, well, why? Some people in my life think that's me just like shutting them down and be like, no, I don't want to listen to you. But it's genuinely me being like, in my brain, I'm right. And you're telling me that you think my way is wrong. I feel, I, like, I, you should tell me why. Like, tell me why you think I'm wrong. And then I'll be like, okay, well, I see where you're coming from. However, I'm not trying to like argue with you. I'm, j I'm just expressing my feelings. I'm just expressing my feelings. Um, glorious, wonderful. Fuck, what was I saying? Oh, oh. Wait, I never, yeah. Okay, pause. We'll get through this thought first. Um, an Octobuddy, if you guys have seen the Octobuddies that people have like put on the back of their phones for TikTok and stuff. Well, what if I just got one for my camera and I could like the double Octobuddy. So it's like suction cup on the side and on this side. So it's not like sticking directly. Um, and I just got one for my camera and stuck it on the dash like i feel like that's worth a shot okay wait what was my oh i'm happy i'm on my period because i've been bloated and i thought that me being bloated was because i've been drinking like sweet tea like i've been having like an in excess amount of sugar you know um and i got the sweet tea because i didn't know what sweet treat i wanted and i was like well if i don't get any like snack sweet treats i could just have sweet tea you know, I should know by now that's not going to do it for me. We can cross off. I'm vlogging. I worked out. I'm making breakfast. I should have put grocery shopped on there so I could cross it out. I could put it on there right now. Groceries. Can I hypnotize you with this? Wait, trigger warning. Hypnotism. Hello. Sorry, does that not look delectable? Gorgeous. A gorgeous omelet. that word is it comparable or is it comparable anyway i'm gonna fucking munch a package from american eagle was at my door when i came in i need to put you guys somewhere better i'm not expecting anything from american eagle so i don't know what it is however i have probably an idea because they wanted to send me pr a little bit ago and i was like yeah for sure z's i love you know i need some new jeans and i got the jeans and they were too small for me which was so annoying but I never knew if anything was going to be done about that, but it looks like it might. As long as they listen and they send me the right size. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. You weren't unzipped all the way. Okay. Struggle bus to get them on. But I did just come out of the shower. Oh, boy. These don't fit. First and foremost, they are so uncomfortably tight. And I have like a gap. I have that gap back here. That, oh, why are they so tight? These fit me like boot cut flare jeans. Like they are tight. Like you could see my leg. My leg is like outlined. I'm not trying to wear a skinny jean. Style. Curvy super high rise. Okay, curvy. Okay, but these are stretchy, bro. Like, these are good jeans. These fit me good. I like these. They're not super baggy. Like, that's how they're supposed to fit. They're a little, they're tighter than I would prefer right here, but also, like, that's just how they're built. They're not built to be super, like, baggy, like, not touching. They're comfy, like, they have, they have, they have stretch. Like, I can, like, I'm pretty sure I have new neighbors, and one, either they're hosting their choir practice, or two, they are doing a karaoke night with their friends. So happy for them that they're having fun, but if I, 
you need to shut the fuck up. You need to go find somewhere else to be doing that because this apartment complex is not where you should be doing that. There's an apartment complex right over there, right over there, building entirely made of cement. I bet you can't hear a damn thing. Bet you can't hear a damn thing. I remember I walked through the hallways in that apartment complex and I was like, if you go murdered here, nobody would know. Nobody would hear you scream. It's literally cement. I, I'll try to, if I have a picture of it, I'll put it in. I'll, I'll put it in. Anyway. <sighs> We're gonna start this out with a bubble bath. This light is out in my, um, right there. This light's out. Like, it's supposed to turn on when this light turns on, but it doesn't, so. <laughs> but just use the last of my Lush bubble bar. This is not bubble bath, but it's the Lush Yognog shower gel. It smells so good. It smells just like the EOS vanilla cashmere lotion. I think I did a pretty good job. I got my little fake candles that I got from, what did I get these, Michaels? For their Christmas sale. And a real candle, because it smells amazing. And then another real candle, because it smells amazing. Hair oil time. I hate doing face masks in the bubble bath. I don't know how people do it. Using, doing any sort of productivity in the bubble bath, in terms of like scrubs, shaving, uh, face masks, like, I guess I could see a sheet mask in the bubble bath. That's like the only exception. But a clay mask, any type of liquid mask in a bubble bath is, is an absolute no for me because I end up just sweating it off. <laughs> Kali Rothschild hair mask, it's almost gone. It smells so good. If you're in need of a new hair mask, make it be this one. Exquisite temperature. Sometimes it gets way too fucking hot and I literally, I didn't realize how hot my water got here, which is like so amazing. I had to dump ice in it because it was so hot and it would not cool down. Sheet mask. Actually, before we get the sheet mask, I feel like we should get the wine. We should get the setup going. I want my iPad in there. I've been using my iPad so much recently. Like I have been nonstop with the iPad. Also, I started watching Dynasty. Very good show. It's time for some wine. I haven't had wine. In quite a few days, I don't even, we'll finish there, but we got another bottle. This is one of my favorite wines right now, it's the brand Roscato, Italia Roscato. It's a sweet rosé wine, which I'm not usually a rosé gal, but I'm, okay, listen. Um, Moscato has been too sweet for me recently. But not all Moscato. Some Moscato is not that sweet, and then other Moscato is like, holy shit, I can feel my teeth rotting. And you know, whenever adults used to say that when I was when I was younger, I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? I get it now. I get the feeling. Um, but this one is a perfect, like, like for example, I have a friend. She is in my stage when I was like super, super not into into like drinks. I was like, oh my god, anything less sweet than a Moscato. She's in that stage, so I was like, no, I have sweet wine, girl, like, don't worry. She tried this, and she was like, so I was like, oh. So that means I'm turning into an adult? Face mask time. Again. Oh my god, it smells so good in here right now. These face masks are from TJ Maxx. These are some of the best sheet masks ever. Honestly, I don't know why people pay out the fucking ass for sheet masks. The only ones I can kind of see are the Dr. Dart ones, the rubber ones. But you can get those at TJ Maxx. And also, I don't know why people are like, oh, if it's at TJ Maxx, it's expired. No. I don't really know the purpose of TJ Maxx, but all I know is that's not the case. I think a lot of times what happens, like, for example, these ones, I don't think they could get sold in regular stores because the opening is, like, okay, the, the goo's going to fall out. I opened it down at the bottom, right? You're supposed to open it up at the top. This got like packaged incorrectly. Like that package was like printed incorrectly, but they still packaged it anyway. So it probably didn't pass the final, you know, whatever, the inspection or whatever the fuck they do. And they were like, oh fuck, like send it to TJ Maxx. Cause they're still gonna profit off of it. It's just, nobody's gonna pay for that full, full price, I guess, because of that. I mean, I still fucking would because how was I supposed to know? But like those type of things is what gets things into TJ Maxx. Just little 
like, oh, a misprint, like a letter was misprinted on the package on a lipstick, on a Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick, you know? Oh, but anyway, these are amazing masks. So, like, it was a whole, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Wish me, wish me a good time. All right, I am going to whiten my teeth. I did cut a strip in half last time I was doing this. Did I do this in the last fucking vlog? When the fuck did I know I did this on camera recently? Wait, is the longer one the top or the bottom? They're not sticky anymore. I can't do this. What the fuck? Did I do it in the last vlog? Guys, I really I think I might be going crazy. I do not remember. Okay, so the, for the people that said cut them in half, great idea. I guess if you like you're sharing with someone terrible idea because they dry out and maybe that's my fault maybe i should have put it in the ziploc bag like a smart person but i didn't so i'm not gonna cut them in half anymore because i just wasted that one you saw okay wait upper is the long one you're supposed to put the lower ones on first but whatever so i cooked salmon the other night and i put the the thing that it came in in the trash no my fridge needs to be organized. I don't even understand, like, what's the point? I understand if everything in your fridge has a place, but, like, no way these bitches are making their fridge, like, I get it, if that's, like, if that's your thing, that's your thing, but, like, how the fuck is that your thing? I'm sorry, how are you doing that? My brain doesn't give a fuck, like, I will leave the egg pan on the stove simply because I'm going to make eggs the next morning. It's already seasoned. It's already seasoned. You know, do I make dinner? I will. I will. It's 8.14 right now. I'm going to give myself until 8.30 to have everything clean. So I'll be back. 8.27. We made pretty good time if I do say so myself. I took the trash out. I cleaned up some boxes over there. Um, I really, tomorrow, I'm going to like actually clean, clean because... We need clean, clean. I haven't done my reset since Mr. Special someone left, but in my defense, he literally left on Sunday and it's Thursday, so. I hate when there's a liquid on the top. Can somebody, if any of you work in yogurt, work in the yogurt biz, somebody please let me know what the fuck that is, because I know it's like normal and I know it's not gross. To me, ew. Guys, I really, where the fuck did I put the teeth? Did I, did I put it away? Every single time I open one of these, they come like this. Like, they come facing that way. So, I have to, like... Okay, anyway. Still, probably talked about this in my last vlog. The Beekeeper's Natural Superfood Honey. Propolis. Whatever the fuck propolis. Let me look that up. Because what even is that? What even is propolis? 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 Helps fight against bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Reduce the risk of high cholesterol, heart disease, and a stroke. Propolis comes from bee saliva, bee wax, and sap. It may help relieve inflammation and reduce acne breakouts. Does bee pollen make your boobs grow? Alright, well, Glamour Magazine says no, but the every girl says yes, so... Um... I'm gonna choose to hear what I want to hear. That was the longest time. No, this is the longest time. What the fuck? What is that? It's a magnet of some sort. Oh, from the clip. This is the longest time I've ever worn a bathrobe. This one is just like comforting me for some reason. Um, normally bathrobes piss me the fuck off. I'm feeling very like non-functional in them. I think it's because a lot of my bathrooms are silk and the, the sleeves get in the way of everything. So it pisses me off, but you know, you know? So anyway, um, don't know if I'm done with you yet, but if I am, I hope you have a good fucking day.